So the question now becomes is if there are ways, all right, to get people's attention right away, do you think that if you have a business, it makes sense in order for you to learn a little bit of neuromarketing? Have you ever heard of the term neuromarketing or neuro sales? And why big brands spend billions of dollars in order to capture your attention? How much do you think colors influence what you do and pay attention to? How much do you think that what is said in the first five seconds of uh, an infomercial or a headline to see for an ad, how much do you think that influences your behavior? Major corporations, whether it's Yahoo, Frito-Lay, PayPal, Coca-Cola, they've all been using neuromarketing for many, many, many years. Now, are any of you using neuromarketing in your own business, right? So realistic, what exactly is the point? Stick around and you'll find out or you can bounce. So the question now becomes is if there are ways, all right, to get people's attention right away, do you think that if you have a business, it makes sense in order for you to learn a little bit of neuromarketing? Do you think it makes sense? How many of you are aware? Let me show you something. How many of you are aware that, you know, when we're talking about the human brain, the human brain evolved in three specific layers, the primal brain, the limbic system or emotional brain, then the logical neocortex brain. Let me ask you a question. See how good you are at neuromarketing and neurosales. Uh, which part of the brain should you target when you are doing marketing? If you have a business, which part of the brain should you target if you are looking to get people's attention? What's the fastest way to get somebody's attention? All right. Question, question, question. Come on, give me the answers. Put it in the chat. Hi, Cheryl. Nice to have you on. Hi, Kay. Nice to have you on. Grapefruitali. Emotional, that's a good one, but there's one better than emotional, better than limbic. And there's one that is better than limbic. And Cheryl Barbara, I'm streaming live right now, just so you know, on Instagram there, Facebook over there. I'll just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it's actually the primal part of the brain. So let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. Um, before I explain, let me share this. Yahoo. Uh, was doing some tests and I've got I've got these written out so I don't forget. So Yahoo was doing some tests that they created um, to attract more users um, to their search engine. So they ran this upbeat ad, this very, very high intensity ad, mid intensity ad and lower intensity ad. And they put EEG, uh, electrocephalogram. Uh, it's always a hard word, electrocephalogram uh, on people's brains to see which ones they reacted to the most. And once they got which one reacted the best, they believed that their creative would work. So when we're dealing with, and I'll tell you about Frito-Lay and PayPal in just a moment, when we are dealing with messaging, whether it's your ads, your copy, whether, whether it is um, a headline you have for your social media post, Think about this question, all right? Here it is. What do humans do faster? Do they move away from danger or fear faster? Or do they move towards pleasure faster? Which one? Which one do we do? So Dr. E.V. Young, primal brain seeks to avoid pain. So think about this. If you have a business, all right, if you have a business, all right, and your business helps people move away from something that they do not want. So is it possible that if they're afraid of something, if they're afraid, let's say, of losing money, if they're afraid of getting sick, if they're afraid of dying, if they're afraid of um, uh, not living longer, if they're afraid of not uh, having something they want, if there is a fear, a pain or a fear, or something that they're frustrated about, make sure that initially you start off with at least, hey, if you're worried about, if you're stressed about, if you're fearful of, blank, 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 then 
follow this three three step process and you will and then name the opposite right so big brands use activation of the primal brain as much as possible so when we think about how does the brain work you see that uh, there's a a frank a frankenstein's monster up there here's you don't see this frankenstein's monster up there there's a part of our brain that's constantly okay in this state of what if negative so and uh, y and okay nyuk fight flight or freeze so if there is something that somebody is afraid of and you can help them remove that fear then create marketing okay that helps them move away from what they want first towards what they want second does that make sense when we're dealing with information think about this all right i'm going to move away for a second watch this right so you've got a brain you're talking to this thing right so as they're as they're seeing your message whether it's video audio um whether they're reading it whether they're hearing it it's going into a part of the brain called the thalamus that's a relay station for anything that is critically important. Now, if I'm afraid of something, that's critically important to the brain because the number one priority of the brain is avoidance of pain or discomfort, safety and survival first. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So for example, um, Frito-Lay, you can use this in a variety of different ways. Frito-Lay did some testing around the color and texture okay, of bags for potato chips. And they realized, let me read this to you. The, they, they tried this brand shiny packaging, okay? And the less shiny packaging wasn't perceived as well as the shinier packages. Why? Because they were looking for electrical activity in the primal brain or what they call is the lizard brain sometimes. But then there was a certain emotional activation uh, in their brain. The amygdala is not just around processing fear, but the amygdala, two little pieces in the brain, uh, just above your ear, obviously inside, um, is responsible for emotional responses. And they got the highest emotional responses when the shiny bags were shown. So when you are doing any marketing, <clears throat> okay, ask yourself this question. Does my program, product, or service help somebody, okay, move away from something, okay, move away from something that they don't want to experience in their life? They don't want to move, they don't want to experience stress. They don't want to experience anxiety. They don't want to experience uh, not having enough money. They don't want to experience being fat. They don't want to experience whatever it is that they're experiencing. If you can create language patterns or videos, that shows them, hey, if you're experiencing or feeling or suffering from blank, 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 here's a three-step process, here's a book, here's a video, here's something to help you move towards what is it that they want. Does that make sense? If you think that makes sense, give me a like or love. This is Neuromarketing 101. You're talking to a brain. I know that you see my glasses, actually my wife's glasses, okay? These are my wife's glasses. I just happen to like them, right? And you see my hair and my face and my skin and my nose. Remove all that away and this is what you're talking to. You're talking to basically a biocomputer and the biocomputer processes information, energy information. My words are energy information. What you see through your eyes, right, is the light shining off of my body energy vibrating called vibrating packets of energy called quanta right coming through the eyes into the brain and so when our brain has a match for something that we are afraid of well then guess what we pay attention so are you creating marketing that cause people to pay attention are you creating social media posts that cause people to pay attention are you creating videos are you creating little workbooks you know how many of you like this stuff because see this the art and science of neuromarketing just finished my newest little creation proven brain science and cutting edge strategies to create offers so powerful people will feel stupid not buying from you if you want i think this is what 35 40 this is 40 54 pages of content that i created for you 
on how to effectively find your ideal clients, uh, how to create messaging for them, uh, and how to make more sales. Now, how much do you think this is worth? 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks? How much? How much do you think I should sell this for? Anybody? Anybody want this for free? Would anybody like this for free? The art and science of neuromarketing. Anybody that has a business want it for free? All right, so here's what you can do. I'll give it to the people who are on this training right now uh, on Instagram. Go to my bio, get it for free. All right, get it for free. It'll help you. On Facebook, my team will put a link. I'll give it to you for free right now. So just go and get it. You won't have to pay me a nickel, but you can thank me a lot later. Deal? If you get it and you love it, will you share the content that I'm sharing on my Instagram or Facebook page with somebody else, okay? Can't give you more than free, okay? All right, so uh, I'll give it to you for free. There'll be a link. Now, when we're dealing with, okay, neuromarketing, when you can create your messaging in a way that gets people attention, think about this. Um, how many of you, like me, are busy all day long? How many of you, you know, when you're on the internet, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, you're on reels scrolling, you know, you're looking for things that capture your attention. And for some of it, you know, we're, uh, we're having fun. I get that. But if something catches your attention, don't you stop? Well, if you have a business, isn't your first priority to get people to stop and pay attention to you instead of all of the other messages? Like, is, isn't that the number one priority? So when you are doing any marketing, if you have a business, then you have to learn how to get people to stop and pay attention to you first. Then you need to lead them, all right, along a path to make a lot of sense, right? So then you need to lead them, but your number one priority, especially on social media, whether it's free or whether it's paid advertising, your number one process is to get them to watch you. What are you saying? And not to scroll left or right or up or down. So when you do neuromarketing, you activate the primal brain or the emotional brain, and then you activate the other part of the brain called the logical brain, the neocortex, so that people move along a path that's logical for their brain. If you only talk to the logical brain, it does not send a message to the emotional brain or the primal brain. The primal brain and the emotional brain sends a message to the logical brain. Does that make sense? So many of the business owners don't know how to do marketing right, especially in today's day and age when we're all so busy with what? 6,200 thoughts in our own head. 6,200. Then... Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, um, uh, television, radio, et cetera. Leader Ann, I'm not on Clubhouse anymore, right? So when we are talking about neuromarketing, let me share with you PayPal. Does anybody know what a USP is? A unique selling proposition? It's the positioning statement for your company that differentiates you from every other you know, business out there. So for example, um, Federal, Federal Express when it positively absolutely has to be there overnight. The promise was overnight delivery, right? The promise was overnight delivery. They mastered that. So the question then became, where do they put that message? And the answer was everywhere. Why? Because they want to make sure that it got people's attention, right? Remember Domino's Pizza in the United States? Fresh hot pizza delivered in 30 minutes or it's free. Fresh hot pizza delivered in 30 minutes or it was free. Who's not paying attention to that? Right? If you want pizza delivered hot in 30 minutes or it's free, then this makes sense to you. Now, PayPal tested a bunch of different USPs, positioning statements. And you know what they did? They found out what the electrical activity was in people's brains. Which did they resonate with a lot? Which did they not resonate with? And guess what they did? They went with security and safety you know, as part of their USP, convenience, security, and safety around PayPal and transferring money. So those specific language patterns, okay, got more people to pay attention and download the PayPal app initially. 
Now, let me go into one other layer in this. Think about this. Um, when we were a species that was developing, if you go back, back in time, maybe a couple hundred thousand years, right? If you think about what were we doing back then? We were foraging, right? Foraging for food. We were hunting, you know, for, for, for animals to eat or fishing. Uh, but there were also, what? Animals that hunted us. So the part of our brain, the amygdala part of our brain started to really get developed. And the primal part of the brain, the instinctual part of the brain, uh, became highly developed to do what? to avoid real or imagined danger, right? Real or imagined danger. Why do you think some animals have big ears? You know, some animals have big eyes. Some animals could turn their heads this way and that way. It was all a survival and protective mechanism, right? All right, so when we think about how the brain got, got developed, the avoidance, okay, of any pain or fear or frustration uh, that people had is a very, very highly sensitive automatic subconscious trigger. And why do people, for example, let me give you an example about yourself. Why do you not take action on the things that you know you should be doing? Why do you not take action on the things you know you should be doing to achieve more success? Why don't you invest more in yourself? Well, you might have a fear of disappointing yourself, uh, you might have a fear that you'll fail. You might have a fear that you might be embarrassed, ashamed, ridiculed, or judged. You might have a fear that you might be rejected. You might have a fear that you might be what? Unloved. So understand that not only can you use neuromarketing and neurosales to be able to help more people with their real issues, but you're also suffering from avoiding the fear and the pain within yourself. So what I'll teach you won't just work for your business. Uh, but it'll also help you understand you better so that you can actually take action. All right. So we've gotten into neuro marketing, neuro sales, how big brands are influencing you. But also if you have a business and you want to ethically and professionally help people, then you owe it to you and them to learn how to activate the part of their brain. They'll help you get, a tech, uh, get attention and then keep the attention so they keep going on. All right to take action and hopefully buy your program, product, service. Now, here's what I'm going to leave you with. Correct me if I'm wrong, but all of us want to buy, but none of us want to be sold, right? All of us want to buy, but none of us want to be sold. Agree or disagree? I love buying stuff. You love buying stuff, but you probably don't like to be sold, right? Now, do you love when somebody's really trying to help you? Like, do you love when somebody's really trying to help you because they care and they know you, they understand you, and they're then saying, hey, I'm going to offer you my this, and the investment for my this, whatever your this is, is X, and then you can make a decision, do I want this or not? Isn't that what really good salesmanship is like? It's doing something for somebody versus to somebody? So I'm giving you something to help you, right? Right. You can get this for free. If you want to join the Business Breakthrough Challenge, I invite you. But I'm giving you stuff that'll help you right now for free. For some of you, you don't know me, so you don't trust me. You may not even like me. So I'll give you a 55-page manual that we professionally created. Websites, landing pages, funnels, search engine marketing, uh, clear through the clutter formula. I'll give you all of it for free. And if you like it, join the business breakthrough challenge. If you don't, you're going to get something great for free. So that's how good marketing should work. Help somebody, show them results in advance, give them value. And then if they like it, then guess what? They're going to go, what else do you have? Like, do you have anything else that I can use? Right? So there's some good marketing for you. Uh, please share this if you like this. Um, my goal is to help you strengthen your mindset, but also upgrade your skill set so you can achieve your goals and dreams faster and easier than ever before. My most important desire is that the time we invest together that I can coach you is worthwhile of your time. Okay. Have an awesome day, everyone. Appreciate you. Bye now. 
Hey, this is John, and if you liked that video, watch the next video because it is packed with things that you can do right now to achieve success way faster than ever before.